hey guys i am gautam and welcome to gmx so in this video i am going to talk about one of the best premier institute in india that is indian association for the cultivation of science iacs so why it is the it is one of the best institute because the nobel prize of india has come from this institute dr cv raman had got the nobel prize from this institute okay so you can think about the institute that he was working in that institute and uh, working in that institute they he got the nobel prize so the institute is quite good and it's a little bit what happens if the institute is in kolkata and that's why you know all over the india no one knows about the institute and most of the students don't know about the institute okay it's far better than any other institute or it's you can say it's the iisc level institute okay iisc bangalore level institute but no one knows about the institute or very few students especially knows uh, know about this institute okay so uh, if you want to pursue masters or masters integrated msc phd program okay you can uh, you can uh, do the masters program only or you can do the masters phd program okay integrated msc phd program both okay you can leave after 2 years taking the msc degree or you can continue with your phd degree right so you can do both okay so if you are interested in this video so completely watch this video okay you will get you will get every information regarding the institute and how can you how should you apply or how do you apply or how uh, what will be the other informations like what will be the question patterns the question difficulty levels everything how what will be the eligibility criteria what will be the uh, how, how what will be the admission process everything i will be discussing right but before you start if you are preparing for iit jam 2021 examination then you can just get my study material one of the best study material okay and uh, questions directly came from my material these year also okay i have already showed you in my videos so just if you want that just check the description or you can call this number or whatsapp this number right so let's talk about uh, iacs and the admission process okay because the form fill up has been started already so without wasting time let's go forward right okay so let's go to the pc screen so this is the home page of that institute so you can see the website name iscs.res.in you can get the link directly in the uh, description below so check the description and this is the first new uh, if you uh, see the section news and updates you will get the first section that is uh, that has the option that is admission notice 2020 ugpg integrated msc or pmc msc phd and phd autumn semester so you have to click on that so whenever you click on that you will Uh, get to come to this page okay so here you will have a lot of informations okay so for example important dates okay so you are admission to the uh, bsc uh, masters or integrated masters phd program that means uh, the bsc if you want to the students who want to pursue bachelors and masters program they can apply masters and phd program that can uh, they can apply even only phd program who want to apply for phd program Uh, they can also apply for the uh, institute so you will get the detail advertisement but this tab is not working but if you want to apply for online uh, application for you have to click on that for online application click here you have to click on that okay but now let me talk about some other important informations regarding the institute the uh, or regarding the exam so the first that there is online application that is uh, that will be starting from february 24 that is uh, that means it is already started okay and uh, the final last date will be april 5 okay that means more than one month okay then uh, ad admit card downloading april 10 to april 17 the online written test okay online written test for upst or mpst upst means undergraduate postgraduate screening test mpst means masters phd screening test so uh, if you are if you want to do msc phd that means you are mpst student okay that means your examination will held on april 18 okay and remember this one here one thing is not written but the examination will be computer based examination okay cbt type examination so a lot of cities you don't uh, what happened uh, what happens in the earlier days you have to you had to come to this institute for appearing in the examination okay but now there are a lot of cities in the india and in the top most cities that is in every state the examinations is conducted okay so if you are from delhi if you are from bangalore if you are from uh, northeast uh, guwahati so you can apply for the uh, examination because in your city the examination will be held okay so you can apply for the institute okay so the result will come on uh, for the online written test so remember this one this is online written test okay so result will come on may 8 okay and finally if you uh, the, if you don't know the procedure for the uh, procedure of admission of this institute in this institute is uh, 
you have to appear in the online screening test that is MPST or EPST. So for you, MPST, okay, MPST. This is so if you you have to appear first in this uh, online test, then if you have qualified this test, then you have to appear in the interview. Okay, if you clear the interview, then you can get into the institute. Okay, so other details like number of seats okay number of uh, the question patterns and the number of uh, total number of students they will call you for an inter for the interview i will be talking about a little bit later okay so keep watching so the next final admission results 30th may admission first second third different lists okay they will uh, they will of course provide you the orientation program for the new students a lot of start classes will be started from july 15 so so a lot of things are there and uh, you have to this are the whole new dates okay so now if you click on that for online application click here then you will come to that page okay i'm showing you so so first what you need to do you are as you are a new user so you have to click on that okay so after going uh, to that uh, tab you just have to register yourself okay so after registering register means your name your email id your mobile number you have to put over there okay after putting there after filling that form you will get to come you have to fill the application form so over there you have to fill your personal details like i am i have already filled all those things so my name gender nationality like parents name guardians name my address permanent address okay then a uh, photograph then finally required this remember this one require hostel accommodation so if you want to accommodate hostel okay that means for the examination then yes if you don't want to accommodate hostel so say no okay so that's all about this uh, fact so next after the first let's coming to the educational details so i'll be talking about eligibility little bit later first let me show you everything so you have to select not don't or don't select integrated bsms program that is for bachelor master's program you have to select integrated master's phd program and you can leave the institute after taking the master's degree only so it's integrated but you can leave after two years okay so this information this kind of information is hidden okay they already they will provide you if you uh, read the what is written in that website everything you have you have to read to understand this that you can leave with taking with only the msc program otherwise if you are interested in phd then it's it will be quite fine okay then your class 10 marks okay then uh, everything like that then your class 12 marks okay they will ask you a lot of things then uh, your bachelor's degree so i have already provided all these things don't see these marks okay so yeah next choice of school this is very important okay because whatever this is the first choice second choice third choice so let me show you what is in the different choices so a lot of choices first school of applied and inter interdisciplinary sciences then other choices are present so whatever choice i'll choose at uh, uh, in the first choice section i will i have to appear in that examination suppose i have chosen uh, the uh, chemical science school of chemical sciences okay, then i have to appear in the chemical science that is chemistry examination if i uh, choose the uh, material science then i have to choose the i have to appear in the material science department okay but i will not i am not choosing that because i i want to appear for the yeah chemical sciences and second choice i can give like material sciences why because uh, if you if you suppose you you want to appear if you want to do your masters in a, or masters phd in material science but you have read chemistry so you have to appear in the examination of chemistry okay you will uh, give the exam on chemistry so whenever the merit list will be published okay at that time you can easily select that in which interview or in this you will you will if you are selected then your name will be present in chemical science in material science and in applied and interdisciplinary sciences okay so you can select all uh, you can select three interviews or you can select only one interview uh, that as per your request or as per your interest okay so that is fixed okay so remember in which examination you want to appear for just keep that in the first choice of school okay so next you have to click on save and next so next coming to the final page that is exam city and payment so i am showing you which are which cities are available this is kolkata gandhinagar guwahati hyderabad jammu lucknow mumbai new delhi pune shillong trivandrum every cities are available in every states okay most of the cities are available so i have given first is kolkata second bengaluru third is new delhi so the application fees will be 1200 so okay so this is quite high because the test will be cbt test so that's why they are charging more 
then you have to put the these things like uh, declaration and then finally clicking on i agree and finally you have to submit i am not submitting because i don't want to appear for the examination but as you are so you have to submit this exam submit this form okay so after you will get uh, everything details in the in over here okay so now let me talk about other information like for this institute okay so as you can see that uh, the details admissions to masters integrated masters phd program okay masters or integrated masters phd program okay that means you can take admission for masters program only or integrated masters phd program that means they will uh, take you in take you as integrated masters PhD, uh, msc phd program msc phd student but after two years you can leave the institute so a lot of informations are there so the subjects are of course there you can see okay these are the subjects i am i have marked it blue okay so you can see the subjects okay the classes will begin from july 15 okay as you have seen then the most important thing is eligibility so for is reserved and un unreserved candidates the eligibility are different so for reserved candidates in class 10 in class 10 plus 2 and in bachelors you have to have 60 percent marks according to university okay that is pcm or honors or major that depends upon university but in your mark sheet you have to, it, it will be written like 60 percent or a first class or like that things okay suppose you are from major then you have to have the 60 percent marks in major subject and if you have a uh, honor subject or uh, pcb or pcm or pc like others then you have to have 60 percent marks in the aggregate uh, when you have to consider the aggregate marks okay and uh, for SCST, PWD or general or, so for, or OBC or AWS category because the for reserve candidates the marks will be 55% marks okay yeah yeah that is 55% marks okay so that's all about the institute then uh, other information on the most important information that is about stipend so during your masters you will get you will be getting you will get at least uh, 12,000 per month scholarship 12,000 12k per month so this is quite amazing about this institute okay and total number of candidates from each for each subject okay they will select 30 students okay out of a lot of students they will select only 30 students so your uh, based on your interview and screening test so now i have i think i have given all the information now let's talk about the question patterns listen they never disclose their questions okay so they after the examination uh, whenever the examination was offline they after the examination they took back the question pa question papers and the answer key both okay so they never disclose the question patterns but from this year as the examination is computer based exam so you can get to uh, understand you can if you can remember the questions then you can easily uh, get the question paper, papers right otherwise i think they never disclose their question papers and the question but as i have given the examination so there will be i think 100 questions and in between the 100 questions the all questions will be mcq and the question patterns is not tough listen this carefully the question pattern is not tough the question pattern is likely to be average easy to average easy to medium not you will not find any tough question okay but as it is a mcq question so i think uh, you have to take care of all those things okay you have to choose carefully so this is about the question papers and the question papers are easy to medium level questions okay you will find 100 questions and three hours time so you have to spend uh very you will get a very little bit amount of time okay to uh, to appear for uh to attempt any questions right so uh, you have to take care of the time okay three hours 30 100 questions so it's very tough because in numericals you have to spend more than sometimes you have to spend 10 minutes 2 minutes 5 minutes 7 minutes 15 minutes even okay so you have to take care of the time so that is about the uh, time management okay and you will find some physics and mathematics mcq questions in the question papers in these 100 questions okay and lastly i have told you yeah i have told you everything about the institute stipend everything and finally i have told you if you are really interested and you are not getting iits and it's like institute even it is the institute that you can compare with iisc bangalore it's it's the it's one of the best and it's good rather than iit okay i can tell you uh, with confidence okay because really this is the, it is the it is one of the best institute and the campus it's not very big campus it's, it doesn't but the building you will love that okay the, the full building is air conditioned okay. so you need not to go to any room to get cold air okay the full building is ac okay a lot of buildings are there and each buildings are air, air conditioned so why i am i am telling you because uh, you just need you, you just don't know about this institute because uh, but listen 
one Nobel Prize and what I am telling that SC is buildings a lot of things okay so it is near the Jadapur University that university is one of the best university top three or top four university in the in this country okay and uh, beside that you will get another institute that is ISCS so just go for the institute apply for the institute so that's all about this institute so just go for that institute i have already told, told you about the bhu and now i am talking about iacs okay so thank you thanks for watching